I said that's where I'm living. In the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge. He is my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Surely He will deliver you from the snare of the fowler. And from the innocent pestilence, it shall cover thee with his feathers. Under his wings thou shalt trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night. Nor for the arrow that fly by day. Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness. Nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side. And ten thousand at thy right hand. It shall not come near thee. You are protected. Your life is preserved. And God will preserve even the whole of your family in Jesus' name. Amen. Only with thine eyes thou shalt behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee. All the wrong imagination, all the negative imagination in your mind, cast them away. There's nothing like that. All those things, bad dreams that the devil is trying to show you some negative picture, erase them from your mind. That thing cannot happen. Because only with thine eyes thou shalt be old and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, even my refuge is the most high your habitation. There shall no evil befall thee. Neither shall any plague come near thy dwelling. You know, even if it's HIV AIDS, God will take it away. Yeah. And you know, sometimes I'm surprised that even those who are not Christians, they come and, uh, you know, with tears, they say, I'm having HIV AIDS and, you know, and we pray and God heals them. Even those who are meeting me for the first time, we just pray like this and HIV AIDS is gone. I about you a real child of God. If the devil has brought it upon you, we don't know where it's coming from. It will throw it back to where it's coming from. Yeah. And you beloved people, your time has come. Yeah. All those things that came upon your life, everything will vanish away in Jesus' name. Yeah. We are the children of God. There is nothing to fear. There's nothing to be worried about. And there's no anxiety. Don't, don't, don't stand up yet. Let me finish Psalm 90. Psalm word is beautiful. I said Psalm 91 is beautiful. You need this psalm. Anywhere you go, just go with this. There's security in your life in Jesus' name. And then it says, it says in verse, in verse 11, it says, For he shall give his angels charge over thee, your bodyguard around you. To keep thee in all thy ways, they shall bear thee up in their hands. Lest thou dash thy foot against a stone, thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder. The young lion and the dragon shall thou trample on the feet because he has set his love upon me. Therefore, I will deliver him. I will set him on high. Because he has known my name, he shall call upon me and I will answer him. Will God answer your prayer? He has answered already. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him with long life. Will I satisfy him and show him my salvation? Throw your worry and anxiety to the wind. God is taking care of you. Let's rise up and talk to the Lord. We know that there's nothing to worry about. There's nothing to be anxious about. Just be a child of God. A child of God. A child of the heavenly king. And you're saying, oh Lord, here am I. Here am I. I belong to you from today. If you are not born again, you just surrender your life to the Lord. And say, Lord, I belong to you. Surrender your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. God is a merciful father. He's a loving father. He's a compassionate father. If you have sinned, they will forgive you. If you are backsliding, it will restore you. It's saying, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. He that cometh unto me, I will in no wise cast out. He will never cast you away. He will not push you away. Come. Come to the Lord. Just say, Lord, I'm sorry for what I've done that is wrong. I surrender my heart, my soul, my life unto you. From tonight, you are my father. I am your child. From tonight, Jesus, you are my Savior. You are my Lord. I give myself. I surrender myself unto you. 
I accept you, Lord, as my Savior. Whatever I have done that makes you unhappy with me, Lord, I'm sorry. Forgive me. And immediately his forgiveness will come. And the Spirit of God will bear witness in your heart that you are now a child of God. A child of God. A child of God. And now you abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Accept Christ as your Savior. He will not say no. He accepts everyone that comes to him. If you will confess with your mouth and believe in your heart, thou shalt be saved. For what the heart man believes unto righteousness. And with your mouth confession is made unto that salvation. Jesus is my Savior. Yes, yes, heaven will confirm it. Jesus is my Redeemer. Yes, yes, heaven will confirm it. Jesus is now my Lord, the controller of my life. Yes, yes, heaven will confirm it. Come unto me, come unto me, come unto me. All ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Rest in your soul. Peace in your mind. In your relationship with the Lord, there's reconciliation. And you're not afraid of eternal judgment anymore. Your heavenly Father cares for you. Cast all your cares upon him. Don't allow worry and anxiety to ruin your life. Don't allow worry and anxiety to uproot you from the place the Lord has planted you. Don't allow worry and anxiety to take you away from the place of security, to take you away from the place of protection. Lord, now I rest in the bosom of the Lord Jesus Christ. Accept the protection. He is your redeemer. He is your refuge. He is your protection. On his wings you can stay. As you believe that he is your savior. He accepts you. Into the family of God. God has never failed anyone. And he cannot fail you. And he will not fail you. He accepts everyone that comes to put their trust in the Lord. Your sins forgiven. Your yokes broken. Your sicknesses healed. Now you're a child of the King. A child of the Heavenly Father. Once you accept the promise of God as true, nothing can beat you out of it. And you take hold of that promise personally. This is mine. Then it's real. Then it's true. And the devil cannot contradict it. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whosoever. Whosoever. No matter how far you have gone in sin, whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Lord, I come. Lord, I come. Lord, I come. I am saved. Heaven, comes, heaven confirms it. And the Spirit of God will bear witness in your heart that you are saved. That you are a child of God. A new life will begin. And then the protection of the Lord, the security of the Lord, the umbrella of the Lord will be upon you every time. And it will give his angels charge over you. To keep you in all your ways. Then he says he'll bless you with long life. He feeds the birds of the air. He takes care of even the lilies of the field. And he says will he not take care of you? All you need is a faith in God. And the protection is there. 
Have faith in God. And the preservation is there. Have faith in God. Have faith in God. And accepts you like you accept Christ as your Lord and Savior. And then you tell the Lord, hold my hand. Keep me strong. Keep me strong. So that I, not, I will not yield to temptation. And when the tempter knocks at the door. Remember what that girl said. I will say Jesus my savior. Go and answer the tempter at the door. And Jesus will knock off the power of that tempter. Rest in the Lord and trust in the Lord. It's yours, it'll never fail. It's yours, it'll never be conquered. You don't have to do like David. To run to the camp of the Philistines, to run to the city of the Philistines, to run to the enemy camp. You can stand, you can stay very firm, solidly on the rock of ages and stay in the protection of the blood of the Lamb. Trust in the Lord, trust in the Lord, trust in the Lord. And promise the Lord that you are not going to stray away to the enemy camp anymore. The blessing of the Lord is upon your life. David forgot that the anointing of the Lord from Samuel was upon his life. David forgot that even Jonathan testified you were rain. David forgot. That even Saul testified. It was because he forgot anxiety and worry took over his life. Don't forget the calling of God upon your life. The anointing of the Lord upon your life. The protection of the Lord over your life. Don't forget. And if you will stand solidly. And you are stable and steadfast. Unmovable. You are not moved away by what you see, by what you hear. And you depend upon the Lord. Then there will be stability in your experience. And the Lord himself will take care of you. Make a covenant with the Lord that will not be changed. A covenant that will not be altered. When trials come. When temptations come. When difficulties come. When challenges come, that you'll be able to stand immovable, stand in the waves and the storms of life, knowing the promise of the Lord, knowing the protection of the Lord upon your life. And you will not allow worry and anxiety shifting you about. Making you run helter skelter, but staying in the hollow of the hand of the Almighty God. And then you know the promises that will never, never fail. You know the security that Satan can never destroy. Don't worry about your child, that child is in the hand of the Almighty God. Don't worry about that daughter. That daughter is in the hands of the Almighty God. About your marriage, don't worry about it. The Lord will give you the best He has provided for you. About your job, leave it in the hands of the Almighty God. Everything is secured. It's there available for you. Therefore, I say unto you, take no thought. What shall we drink? What shall we eat? Well, with that shall we be closed. For your father careth for you. Your father careth for you. Make sure he's your father. Your heavenly father. Greater and higher than all the earthly fathers. He cares for you. 
Are you sick? He will heal you. Any plague, he will cancel that plague. Affliction, attack, he will take it away. You have a father is thinking about you. A father is providing for you all your needs. A father will not forsake or forget his own. A father who says, leave all the problems in my hand. I'll take care of them. Leave all the challenges in my hand. I'll take care of them. And you can leave everything in the hands of the Almighty God. He'll take care of you. He'll take care of you. Yes, God will take care of you. Throw the way. All the way, all the days. Yes, he'll take care of you. God will take care of you. He cannot forget you. All the big problems, cast them unto the Lord. And the small, small problems to you, cast them unto the Lord. Casting all your cares upon the Lord, for he careth for you. Casting all your cares. Casting all your cares. Casting all your cares on him. Because he careth for you. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Hand over all the problems into his hand. And let him solve the Give God a chance. Give God a chance to bear all your bodies and to carry all the cares away from you. In Jesus' name we pray. Tonight is a night of glory. A night of joy. A night of freedom from worry and anxiety. All the things that oppress your mind from today, everything is taken away. It's bowed and eyes closed, you see. All these promises are for the children of God. And if there's anybody there, your heart is, you know, kind of worrying you and asking question, are you really a child of God? And let's throw that question away now. Because, you see, the Lord forgives. And whatever sin anyone has committed, you know, God will forgive everything. Because the Bible says, whosoever will call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. And tonight, anyone there has bowed and eyes closed. And all the locations where we are, you are coming to know the Lord. Or you have gone away from the Lord and you now say, I'm coming back home. The Lord is receiving you right now. I say it's about and eyes are closed. Just raise up your hand and pray for those people. The Lord himself will forgive your sin. God bless you there. God bless you there. Just raise up the hand. I want to say the hand raised it up very well. So I, God bless you. Thank you very much. Any other hand? Doubt in your heart. Doubt in your mind. And you want to be sure tonight. You are a real child of God. Father, in the name of Jesus. All these sons that are raised up here and in all the other locations, the oh Lord, you have said, whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Save them in Jesus' name. Forgive all their sins. Take the condemnation away. Write their names in the book of life in Jesus' name. And we pray, Lord, the spirit of the living God will be a witness of their hearts that now they are children of God. Confirm it, O oh Lord. Thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, before we go, how can I release you without taking all that burden away from your heart? All that care away from your life? All those problems away before you leave here tonight? All those problems are gone. And in all the satellite locations, anywhere you are tonight, it's a night of freedom. It's a night of healing. It's a night of deliverance. And all the shackles and chains of the enemy, everything is broken tonight in Jesus' name. Just raise up your hand. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come here tonight wanting to be free from anxiety. 
free from cares and free from worry we want to rest in the bosom of Christ you said come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy and I will give you rest learn of me take my yoke upon you and ye shall find rest unto your souls my yoke is easy and my burden is light all as we come to you tonight oh Lord give rest to everyone in Jesus name Take all the anxieties away, all the cares away, all the worry away, all the problems we have, we put them in your hands, take the care of them in Jesus' name. Sickness, infirmity, incurable disease, we command you, go away in Jesus' name. All the joblessness, we command you, get away in Jesus' name. Those who are worried about their children, about their wives, about their husbands, about whatever problems in the family, oh Lord, will bring those problems to your hand right now. Take care of them in Jesus' name. Any incurable disease, HIV, AIDS, tonight we conquer you. That HIV, AIDS, I command you, come out from their bodies in Jesus' name. All the attacks, all the affliction, I take authority over you. Set your people free in Jesus' name. Lord, that individual that I've been worried about because, you know, some of these people came to your house in the night and seen that you were in a shock. And since that time you have been expressing that shock, when it's getting late, you are going to sleep, you remember that kind of thing, and then you begin to panic again. That shock, I take it away from you right now. And all the sweating and the fear that comes upon you whenever you are going to sleep, I command, be free in Jesus' name. 